Hi everyone, my name is Michael Levan, and in this video, we're gonna learn how to create a Kubernetes cluster template in OpenStack, which is running on the OpenMetal platform. So with that, let's go ahead and dive right in. Now, under Container Infra, I'm gonna go to Cluster Templates, and as you can see, I already have a few, but I'm gonna click on Create Cluster Template. Now at this point, I can give it a name, so I can say Kubernetes Fedora, and then I can choose the container orchestration engine. And I have a few options here like Mesos, Swarm, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose Kubernetes. Now, another cool thing too is if you click this question mark, it's gonna tell you exactly what's going on with all of these different options. So for example, public means make cluster template public, enable registry, enable the Docker registry, disabling TLS is for the cluster template. In this case, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna make the cluster template public. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click next and I'm gonna choose an image. So I have a few images here and what these mean is what my control plane and my worker nodes are gonna be running on. I'll go ahead and I'll choose Fedora. Next, I'll choose my key pair. Now this key pair is an SSH key that can be uploaded to OpenStack and then you can you know use it inside of your cluster to be able to access your clusters. Next, I'm gonna choose the flavor of the nodes. So this is gonna be for my worker nodes. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose a CC large. And then the flavor for my control plane, I can go a little bit smaller because the worker nodes are you know, where your pods are running. So that definitely needs a lot more resources. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose C1 medium. And then I have a volume driver of Cinder that I can choose from. And then the Docker storage driver, which is gonna be overlay. And then I can choose the size that I want for the Docker volumes. I'll go ahead and I'll choose 20. And then I'll click next. Now at this point, we have a few options for our container network interface or our CNI. It's gonna be Flannel and Calico. Now if you're first, you know, just kind of getting started with CNIs, Flannel's a really good way to go. It kind of just works out of the box, so to speak. But I personally like Calico a little bit more and the reason why is because it gives you definitely a lot more security options. It gives you the ability to encrypt traffic if you're not using something like a service mesh. So there's a lot of security features behind Calico. Because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna choose Calico. For my external network ID, I can just choose the external one. For DNS, we'll just go ahead and we'll choose 8888, good old Google. And then we'll choose the master load balancer and then the floating IP. Now again, if I click on the question mark here, we can see exactly what that means. So master LB indicates whether created cluster should have a load balancer for master nodes or not. And then for floating IP indicates whether created cluster should have a floating IP or not. Now next, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna click next. <laughs> and then I have my labels here. So your labels are very important. This kind of enables or disables features on your Kubernetes cluster. For example, there's a label to ensure that ingress is enabled. There's a label to ensure that you're specifying a specific Kubernetes API version. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna paste a few labels in here. And these labels are gonna be for the cloud provider if that's enabled, the ingress controller to be enabled, the master LB floating IP to be enabled, and then the cube dashboard to be disabled. Now again, if I go ahead and I click on this question mark, we can see that it's supposed to be specifically in key value pairs. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of that and then I'm gonna click submit. Now at this point, we can see that our cluster template was officially created. So if I go ahead and I take a look at this, I can click on it and then I can see everything that encompasses this cluster template. And that's how you can create a cluster template for the Kubernetes orchestration engine. Thank you so much for watching.